Hey everyone, this is Phil. This video is here to help you make a decision on what Moyu cube to get. Basically, they've released a lot of cubes recently and so we thought we'd help out and explain the differences between all the cubes and make some recommendations based on what needs you might have. And just keep in mind that we don't have all the Moyu cubes here on this table and these are the ones that we highly recommend. So if we left anything out, it's because we don't really recommend it because it's either too similar to something that we already have or it's just outdated. So let's start off with a real classic one. This is the Weilong GTS 3M. This is the oldest MoU cube in this collection here. And we have this in here because it's very good for blind solving. Lots of top class blind solvers use this to great success. I think it's because the cube moves really easily and the slices are really good making it very attractive to blind solvers. So one thing to note is that this cube has ridges. So if you want a cube with ridges or if you want to get into blind, this is a good idea. This is 92 grams, so it's kind of heavy, but still very usable on a very competitive level. If you want the cheapest cube possible, we recommend the Meilong 3C. This is 399 at thecubicle.com. It's a very no-nonsense cube. It doesn't have magnets. It doesn't have fancy elasticity adjustment. It's just a cube. It's 399 and it's the cheapest possible cube you can get from Moyu that will work fine. And as you can see, it turns really well out of the box. There's no snagging or locking problem. And even though the cube is dry, it still moves good. And this is fantastic for beginners. All right, now we have two budget cubes. These are actually extremely standout budget cubes on the market in general. Uh, I think these budget cubes are the most popular. This is the RS3 2020, but don't let the year fool you. The RS3 2020 is still very viable in 2023. So this cube is $8.99 at thecubebowl.com, has magnets, elasticity adjustment system, so it has enough features where if you want to actually be a serious speed cuber on it, you totally can. And we have a bunch of kits that let you upgrade this cube as well, so if you want to change it up or personalize it further, you can totally do it. This cube is on the heavier side, the turning is very substantial and solid. So this is a super standout budget cube that's actually gotten very good results efficiently. A lot of national records are set on this cube in various places in the world, and this is definitely usable at a very high competitive level. So right next to this, we have the RS3M Super. This was released late last year, and uh, this has all the goings of the regular RS3 2020, except it's faster, crisper, and blockier. So when you turn it, you'll see that this cube turns very easily. It responds to movement really well, and a lot of cubers also like this one. This one's $9.99, so it definitely won't break the bank. So here we have the performance cubes. These are basically the cubes that Moyu thinks are going to be the best possible builds. The reason we picked these is they all have magnetic cores, so that's an essential feature for stability. It's gonna come in real handy when you're turning fast and you want the cube to stay stable. Also, just wanna point out that we did not put any of the maglev cubes in here. A lot of these models have maglev versions without the ball core. We just felt that was too similar to the standard and that the ball core was too essential of a feature to leave out, which is why we have these four cubes on the table. So here we have the RS3M Super Bong Core. This is the most advanced version of the RS3M Super. It's a little heavier than the counterparts, but that's because of the magnetic core. It really gives you a good magnetic feel when you're turning, and a lot of people have achieved very good results on this cube. For $19.99, it gives you a really complete package. Next up, we have these two guys. These are the YS3M cubes designed by Yu Sheng Du. So this is a very recent release. This cube has four versions. These are the two most advanced ones. This is the Bong Core. And this is the UV bond core. The only difference is the UV bond core has a glossy coating on the outside so that when you're turning and gripping, it feels good in your hand and uh, you don't slip. And of course, this cube has a matte finish, but the more you cube on it, the more smooth it becomes. And this is what it looks and feels like after it's smoothed out. We've done a lot of solves on this because we like it a lot. And last, this is the most recent release. This is the Weilong V9. It's kind of hard to believe they've gone through nine iterations of the Weilong, but it's such a classic puzzle. It kind of makes sense. This is the most advanced version of the Weilong V9. It is UV coated. It has the bong core and it has repelling magnets on the inside of the edges. And so this is outfitted with all of Moyu's latest technology and it's Moyu's expression of their best cube possible. All right, so we have all the cubes back on the table and we're gonna make some recommendations that are going to suit particular needs of customers. So over the years, we've seen a lot of customers want cubes for different reasons. And so we have a few popular reasons we're gonna show you and hopefully it'll make decision making easier. So one good reason is they want a cube that is cheap and reliable. And so this row of cubes right here, this is what you're gonna be looking for. If you want the cheapest possible cube, the Meilong 3C is a really good choice. 
if you want something that's a little more advanced that you can cube on and practice on and not feel like you're missing out because you don't have magnets, RS3 2020, RS3 Super. You can pick either one of them and be really happy with it. And another reason people want to buy a cube is they want the best performance possible. They're looking for a new main that's going to get them the best times and help them improve. For that, we actually recommend this back row and also these cubes. So if you have a specific reason to get like an economy cube, if you like something simpler and not you know, overridden with features. You can still choose these. These get you really good times. If you want something that's full featured, we really recommend the Waylong V9. That has all the features that MoU can possibly express besides adjustable magnets. So one way you can make a decision between the cubes in this back row here is to think about how blocky you want the cube. So they're actually sorted from most blocky to least blocky. The RS3 Super Boncore is the blockiest cube, which means if you have super accurate turning, it's going to be very solid and reliable and it's not going to deform or anything, but it's going to also keep you in check. So if you don't turn accurately, it might lock up and uh, it might not feel too good. So if you turn accurately, it's going to reward you with a lot of stability. You know, if you're not so sure and you want more corner cutting and more flexibility, you can pick the Waylong V9. Uh, this is the most flexible out of the cubes and uh, definitely you can get away with some pretty good corner cutting here. And if you want something in the middle, I think the YS3M is pretty good for that middle ground cube. It does corner cut very well. It's a little bit blocky, but not so much. So I think that's one way to make a choice between these cubes. Lastly, one popular reason to get a cube is if you're giving it as a gift to a friend or just some other cuber. For that, we recommend these three cubes right here, the Waylong V9 and the YS3. The reason is these have a really cool unboxing experience. The packaging is really shiny, the cube is full featured, and the cube performs really, really well. So if you're looking for a gift, these are gonna be really nice and the appeal to a wide variety of cubers. So in conclusion, we're just gonna simplify even further and give you two recommendations. One is best possible value and the other is best performance. So if we're talking about best performance, definitely we pick the Waylong V9. It has the most features, it has UV coating. People have already gotten fantastic times on this in world-class competitions. So there's no doubt best performance is the Waylong V9. And if you're looking for the best possible value without spending a lot of money, definitely recommend the RS3M 2020 or the RS3M Super. Both of them are under $10 and they both deliver fantastic value with their combination of features and good performance. The only real difference is this one is blockier and sharper than this one. So if you like that sharp defined feel in your cube, uh, definitely consider the Super. And if you don't care so much, this is a dollar less and it has all the features as well. So either of these cubes, you can't really go wrong. They're really good. Yeah, that's about it for our overview of Moyu cubes. This video was made in the spring of 2023. So we'll make sure to update it when more Moyu cubes come out because uh, I know Moyu is really keen on releasing lots of cubes. We hope this was helpful. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave us a comment. Yeah, definitely buying a Moyu cube can be a little bit tricky because there's so many of them, but most of them are very, very good. And uh, we're confident that you'll like it if you just think about what you want a little bit. Cool, see you later.